Hello everyone, welcome back, I'm Lincoln, and today I'm going to show you how to make this barbed wire. It's quick and easy, just using the two tool and the new spiral tool. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, first thing, we'll get rid of the sphere, and we're going to use the tube tool. Now we're going to use path, and we're going to turn on the grid, and click and drag across the grid line. This way you know you're aligned in space, it's going to make things a lot easier in just a minute. Hit the validate button or the green button anyway it's not validate but just the green button and you'll see we have a little bit of size here let's bring this down hit the three dots and go to spiral and we're going to the twist angle now this is just to get the wire started and we don't need a ton of that but that looks about right now we can always stretch these up make this a little bit bigger but we need to look at the grid again and make sure that your dots are on that line just like that okay give it a little bit more twist that's probably about right right there okay we're going to go ahead and clone that you don't have to validate it yet and i don't need three of those one of these can go away okay use the gizmo tool now a little trick with this i want to show you the align button on the side here if we turn this it'll align it to the face normals on the end of the of your wire little section here when we hit it again it goes aligns it with the grid you can see that's easy to see now that you have the grid in if we click on the pivot and do center, now we're in the center and we're aligned. So it'll make things a little bit easier for you. And you can see how the line will flip it back and forth. That really doesn't matter where it's at, but that's fine right there. Now let's rotate the second one. And if it makes it easier to see, you can always paint one of these. Um, different color or anything, just a little something different. So you can see the differences and that looks about right. So we'll leave that just as it is. Hit the home button again. Now you notice I have the little icons in, enabled now. So if I click on something, it'll you'll see the fingerprint icon or the pencil icon. All right. Now what we're going to do is make our barbed wire so these two let's go ahead and put these into a group we'll name those wire okay now we can close that group up uncheck them so we're not sending our objects into that group add oops not there we need to add another tube go to another path and for this it can be fairly short because Barb wire has two strands on the barb, so one will barb one twist to a barb and then barb one twist to a barb. So we don't need it to be very long, and we'll just go from here to here. And we'll try that. Actually, let's go. Oops. Um, let's delete that one, and it should not have put it in there, but we're going to drag it out. Like that let's do one just from center oops do one from center to center let's just try that first and see roughly if that's enough validate it and bring the size down a little bit now in here we're going to control this a little bit more so that looks about right so that's probably just about what we want right there. You increase the radius so you'll see that it's just on the outside of the wire. And the scale will change the size and diameter of the wire without having to mess with that other, that other one that's on the end of your tube, the orange dot. So that looks, so you can see we're in the wire just a little bit. So we'll increase the radius just a little bit. And... That should be just about right. That looks just about right, right there. Okay. Now we'll go and uh, this one. 
Still sending it in there. Okay. So from here, we're going to go ahead and validate it. And the reason being is I'm going to come in here and make the ends of the barbs on the first one. So I'll grab the move tool and just grab the face and just stretch it out. And that one's just kind of in a bad spot. It, for this one, you just have to kind of play with it and get the right direction. And by doing it like this, you get a nice, like, kind of crazy barb and makes it quite realistic, actually, because you get the kind of clipped ends of the wires. And it's just a matter of kind of going around and finding the right direction that shows it like you want. That one's perfect right there. And we'll do another one. And once we've done this, this is pretty much all we have to do. This is all we're going to do now is clone this. And we'll rotate it. Bad thing about this is your, your rotation will be a little off. So you just have to work this a little bit back into place. And there, we have a pretty nice barb. And the only thing I want to do is fix these on this end. I'm going to turn the grid off now. And probably move, make the move to a little bit larger. Click on this one. Make that nice kind of spindly crazy direction change like you want and move these a little bit because they're usually not perfectly straight coming off they usually have a little angle to them if you look at regular barbed wire and that looks pretty nice now the only thing we might want to do is move these just a little bit more to align to each other and that's good right there. Now, let's take these two and join them. Rename them Barb. Okay. All right. Now, what we can do is get this one and go ahead and repaint it white since we, we have what we wanted. Bring it back up to white. Paint all. And to make more of these, we can validate that. We can validate the other one. All right, now to hide these and make more, the easy thing to do is grab the group and clone them. And you slide them over. And depending on your twist, you'll probably have to rotate them a little bit to get them to match up, but that looks pretty close right there. And the easy way to hide this is to grab your barb and slide this now it's even it's hard to even see where we at right there okay so grab your barb and slide that right over the seam just like that and in between each section you wouldn't even notice really clone the barb and you can make these as much as long as you want all right now you have that all set if you want, you can grab all of these and just do some paint and do like a metal, make it a little rough and paint all. Got some nice barbed wire. You can always do more of more strands, obviously. And you can make this as long as you want. You can set it up. If you want to do a ton of these, you just do one section of wire, one barb, and then do um, an array. So if we were to take one barb, clone that one, bring it down, bring the, find the wire, this one, clone these, bring it down. Oops. Not that one. 
bring this down. Now these two may be a little funky. Like here, just like that. Go halfway across. And it's going to go to the right normally, so it'll probably be better to go this way, about halfway in. And group, grab that, and that one, this one, let's move these two together. Okay, let's group these two together, and then it'll just be easier to find. wire section okay so grab all that add a array now it's just a matter of picking which one you want Oops. and the next thing you want to do is make sure you click off fit inside and there now you can make as much fence as you want as quick as you want and then if you wanted to make a three strand fence or a four strand fence there you go hey everybody hope you enjoyed this tutorial i have a lot more tips and tricks on my channel so go check them out all right i'll see you next time all right thanks